A lot of guys ask me, how do I maintain a relationship? How do I make sure that my woman is always interested in me? How do I ensure that I have a strong relationship with a woman? How is it that I ensure that, you know, one day the woman I'm with, the mother of my children, just doesn't decide to go off and fuck some other guy, huh? Fuck some other guy, get a lawyer, divorce rape me. How do I avoid that? How do I ensure that all the work that I put into the relationship will not be just tossed away one day? Huh? How do I ensure that? And the answer is so easy. All you have to do is show your woman that you have options. Options with other women, of course. And that's the whole point, right? It's not like options that, you know, you can go and get one job or another, no. Options in the sense of like you can find better women whenever you want to. She has to know that. She has to know that you're valuable and that you can leave her. Not to the point of making her feel insecure. That's foolish. That's counterproductive, quite frankly. If you have a woman who thinks that you are going to cheat on her at a moment's notice for no good reason, she is going to feel insecure and she will be driven away and find somebody else. No, you got to be subtle about it. Subtle about it, and what do I mean by this? Well, very simple. You're at some party with your girlfriend or your wife or, you know, the, the woman that you want to have around, right? The woman that you want to keep. The woman that you're happy with. Perhaps the mother of your child or perhaps the woman that you see yourself spending the rest of your life with, right? You're at some party. And of course, what happens very naturally is that some random woman, right, will spot you and, uh, you know, think that you're nice enough. But when she hears that you've got a girlfriend, she'll start hitting on you. It happens all the time. And this, of course, goes to women's competitiveness over mates. Yeah, a woman who's got a mate, a boyfriend, a husband, he will be more attractive to other women because other women will want to see if they can take that man. And they do it all the time, right? Most men are too stupid to realize when they're being hit upon by the friends of their girlfriend or their wives. Yeah, it happens all the time. It's pretty damn funny, but that's for another video. But the point of this video is that, see, you're at some party. You're at some party, some get together, and you know, your, your woman, she's off in some group over there talking with people and you're over there with some other people and quite naturally some girl will sidle up to you and what do you do? You flirt with her. That's what you do. You don't make a big to-do about it. You don't make it like really obvious. You just like smile and laugh and tell jokes and charm her. That's all you have to do. Your woman from across the room will know Oh yes, she will know and it will drive her a little bit nuts. And here, here is when you need a little bit of finesse. You see, of course, when you're flirting with this girl, right? This random girl that you came across at some cocktail party or wherever the fuck, and you're in the car and you're driving home and your girlfriend or your wife is all pouty and pissed off. Well, here's the thing. She's going to eventually bring about the fact that you were talking to some girl and she didn't like it. And you just say, I was just talking to her and you play innocent. That's what you have to do. You don't rub her nose in the fact that you were flirting with some woman. No, she'll connect the dots on her own. She'll connect them quicker than you would, okay? If the shoe were on the other foot, oh yeah. Women are better at the social game, okay? It's simple as that. There is a reason that you are watching this video, yeah? Because you're a guy and guys, we guys, we suck at this social game. Women are past masters at this shit because their evolutionary survival depends on it. Men, men, no, we, our evolutionary survival depends on us hunting the woolly mastodon, i.e. solving problems. We're great at solving problems. We're shit at social problems, social interaction, social dynamics. Women are better at it. No, just, you know, accept it. It's no big deal. It's no big deal to admit the fact that you're not particularly good at something. We are not good at this shit. So that's why I'm telling you, what you have to do is you have to make it clear to her that you have options without rubbing her nose in it. 
Because if you make it so obvious, if you flirt so openly with some random woman that you see at some party or something like that, right? She's gonna get really pissed. But if you're just charming and smiling and you can, in all honesty, later say it was totally innocent, she'll know that it was totally innocent, but it'll leave that little bug in her head, which is what you want. And what's that bug? That you have options, yeah. She'll know that if she breaks up with you, if she dumps you, if she tries to divorce rape you or some shit like that, you'll find somebody else and might be, maybe, quite possibly, or perhaps even probably, somebody better. That is what will keep her in line. The knowledge, not just the suspicion, but the knowledge that you can get somebody else relatively easily and quite possibly better than her. That will cleave her to you in a way that will be more binding than chains. Because women are competitive. It's as simple as that. Women are competitive. They like to win. They like to feel that they are triumphing because all animals are like that. We all like to feel that we're winning, that we're conquering something. We men like to think that we're conquering the fucking mastodon. Women, they want to feel that they are conquering the right guy. And how do they know that they have the right guy? What's the, what's the, what's the, what's the symptom? What's the, 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 the sign for a woman that she's got the right man? The sign is that other women want him. That's the sign. You know who gets divorced? You know who gets divorce raped, loses custody of the kids, winds up shelling out three quarters of his salary and whatnot? You know who gets ass blasted like that? It's the nice guy. That nice, flubby, loyal guy who never even talks to another woman, who's just like a fucking neuter. Yeah, he might be banging his girlfriend or wife or whatever. He might be banging her morning, noon, and night for all I care. But that's not the issue. It's not an issue of how well you bang the girl. No. It's her knowledge that you have options, that other women want to fuck you. If she knows this for a fact, then she's going to be loyal to you. But those schlubs, those nice guys, and they're always nice guys, and they're always these guys who have this thought that you know they would never make their woman or wife or girlfriend or whatever feel insecure. Oh, no, 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 no. They will never do that because they're a nice guy. They will always be loyal, and they'll never even talk to another woman. And if his girlfriend or his wife tells him, honey, I hate it when you talk to another woman. Please don't do it. He will respect her. Yeah, he will do what she asks. He will never talk to another woman. And of course, the woman will wind up banging the mailman and then divorce raping him in court. That's how it goes, brother. Don't be that simp. Don't be that nice guy. Don't rub her nose in the fact that you've got options, but show her that you do. The weird thing, and, and this is gonna sound so fucking counterintuitive to a guy, because see, a guy, we guys, if we think that our woman is potentially flirting with other guys, potentially thinking or considering going off with another man, we're devastated. Oh yeah, it just hits us, you know, it's like a knee to the balls. Yeah, you know it is, I know it is, and we all know it, that's how we feel. If we see our woman at some party like mildly and casually flirting with some other man. It's just like, what the fuck? It really pisses us off and we sulk about it and we get really upset at her and she'll be like, oh, I wasn't doing anything, but we fucking know, right? And the thing is, it hurts us terribly and it makes us not want to be with that woman because that's how we are programmed because we don't want to be with a promiscuous woman. Of course not. We want to make sure that the woman we are with is loyal to us to ensure that her offspring are our offspring, right? Yeah, that's why it pisses us off when we see our woman flirting with some other guy because it makes us very insecure about our paternity. This is built into us by evolution. But for women, it's not the same. For guys, when we see our woman doing that, we feel that she is preparing to leave us and we start to mentally leave her. The bonds between a man and a woman weaken when a woman starts flirting with another guy. 
but for women it's different it's the opposite the exact opposite when she sees that her man can bag and bang some other woman a high quality woman an attractive young woman it turns her on she wants to be with that guy more than ever hmm? that's the way of the world and to fight it is foolish it's like fighting the tide how smart is that hmm? okay so that's the end of this video uh, you can shut it off right now let me just tell you really quick what's going on with my channels the CRP channel this channel is uh, gonna be devoted strictly to women and issues revolving women because my audience at CRP just loves this shit and I like talking about it so what the fuck give the people what they want and people who come to the CRP channel like to hear me talk about women and whatever random insights I might happen to have about them so here we are on my Gonzalo Lira channel link in the description below you're gonna find me talking about all the other shit that I don't cover on the CRP channel, i.e. every other topic aside from women, of course, right? Um, I think it's valuable content. It's content also directed for younger guys. You know, talking about the world and how the world works, yeah? Yeah, and on Patreon, also the link in the description below, I have my more provocative videos. I have my more provocative videos and I also have weekly webinars that are call-ins where I talk to people who are in that tier and we just hang out and have these long conversations about different topics. They usually run, I always try to make them like 90 minutes or so, but they always wind up going like three hours, sometimes four hours, what the fuck? But people enjoy it, I enjoy it, so why not? So anyway, if you're interested in any of that content, go to the links in the description below and check them out. And uh, yeah, that's all I've got to say. So I will catch you next time.